In this video, we are going to learn about the ratio of volumes of similar solids. Why not let's start with something simple, a cube. And let us bring in another cube, a bigger cube. Now suppose that the length of the side of the smaller cube is 4cm and the length of the side of the bigger cube is 10cm. Now what are their volumes? Now the volume of the smaller cube would be 64cm cube and the volume of the bigger cube would be 1000 cm cube. Hence, the ratio of the lengths would be 4 is to 10. Simplify this, we have 2 is to 5. Now, how about the ratio of their volumes? Yes, the ratio of their volumes would be 64 is to 1000. Now, let's simplify this, divide by 8 on both sides, we have 8 is to 125. Now, these two numbers, we can re-express them as perfect cubes, which then gives us 2 cube is to 5 cube. Now, from here, you would realize that is a correlation. The lengths 2 is to 5, the volumes 2 cube is to 5 cube. But wait, that is not all. Why not let us open up these two cubes to find their total surface areas? Now, the total surface area of the smaller cube would be 16 for each face, which gives it 84, and the total surface area of the bigger cube will give us 100 for each face. So, the ratio of their surface areas will be 16 times 6 is to 100 times 6. We can easily simplify this, cancel out the 6, then divide by 4. This gives us 4 is to 25. We can re-express this as perfect squares, which gives us 2 square is to 5 square. And once again, you would notice a pattern here. So what is this pattern here? For lengths, it is to the power of 1. For the areas, it is to the power of 2. And now for the volumes is to the power of 3. So why not let us just generalize this correlation? Now suppose we have two similar solids and they have corresponding lengths of A and B. Now the ratio of the lengths will be A is to B. If we want to cube this ratio, it then gives us the ratio of the volumes. If you are given the ratio of the volumes, you can always cube root it back to find the ratio of the lengths. Now, if you want to find the ratio of the surface areas, we would square this ratio to give us the ratio of the surface area. A square is to B square. And of course, we can always square root this ratio to give us back the ratio of the lengths. And hence, this concludes this lesson.